guys from Thailand here. Today's video is going to be about my medical insurance. My medical insurance is up for renewal and I've had many many questions over the year about medical costs and medical insurance. Who's the best, who's the cheapest, where can I get it from? I'm going to put some pictures here with regard to my medical insurance costs and how much I'm insured for and what the cover is and the costs for 700,000 for 1 million and 1.5 million and so I'll put these pictures up here a little bit later on but before I do that I'm going to discuss some alternatives now the reason why I'm going to discuss some alternatives is that I was at a, an expats meeting some years ago and we did a, a straw poll as to how many people were actually insured and there was over a hundred people at the event and you'd be surprised that almost 70 percent of the people at the expats club meeting were not insured now it's a big, big issue over here with regard to insurance and being insured and not insured and the amount of people with pre-existing illnesses and things like that. So yes, it is a headache and no, I don't have all the answers. You need to ring the people who provide the insurance cover for the correct answers. All I'm doing is giving a guide and as to how much I am paying for my specific circumstances. And that's all I can say with regard to that. But alternatives to medical insurance for those people who can't afford the medical insurance, did you know you have other options? Now what's the most common cause of death in the world? Heart attack. Heart attack, that's the most feared thing in the world with regard to dying because if you have a heart attack, 90% of the time you're going to die. With other illnesses such as kidney failure, liver failure and things like that, pancreatitis, you've got warning signs to tell you that something is going wrong. Now your heart gives very, very little warning signs with regard to having a heart attack and most people just take it as indigestion and things like that. Now I've been to many heart attacks in my career in the fire service and I've got to say, majority of people had pre-existing conditions when we spoke to the family of chest pains and they just ignored it. So if you have any chest pains, any type of chest pains at all consult a doctor so what are the alternatives to a medical insurance everybody's asking and the package I'm going to suggest is very reasonable and for those people who can't afford the medical insurance this is another option I'm just going to deal with the heart issues and because that's the number one cause of death so that's the number one thing that I'm going to talk about so okay I'm going to put some pictures here of also of the Bangkok hospital and various packages that they give. And this one here, to have a faulty heart valve replaced is between 700 and 900,000 baht. Now that's just for the procedure, nothing to do with before or after, it's just that procedure. So as you can see, 700 to 900,000 baht is a hefty price. And wouldn't it be good if you knew beforehand that your heart was heading into the direction where you may need a valve replacement. So therefore, preventative measures is going to get various checkups. Now I'm going to run some packages here and I'll put the photographs up here so you can have a look at the, the packages. And if you want to have a look at it a little bit, just freeze frame. Just freeze frame the video and you'll be able to look at the, the packages and offer as we go through the video. So as I have already mentioned, 700 to 900,000 baht for, for a new valve. Let's look at the preventative costs. So the cheapest one that comes into this range is for this one here, a cardiac calcium scoring CT scan package. Now that just looks at your arteries and to see whether they're actually getting clogged up. And this only takes between 15 and 20 minutes and the price for this one is 2,500. Now what it covers and what it tells you about what's going on inside of you, for 2,500 baht, I think it's very, very cheap and it can tell you some information that you don't know. So for 2,500 baht, it's like a good night out in Pattaya. So therefore, isn't it worth 2,500 baht to go and get your, your scan done to see if your artery is getting clogged up? And if it's heading towards that way, that's preventative. So you can fly back to your home country with the results and say, listen, this is what I've had done. Can you investigate further? Now, isn't that better than having an heart attack, curling your toes up and being put in a box? I would say yes. So the next one is this one. It's the heart checkup package. 
Now this comes between 9,000 and 24,000. Now I think personally 9 to 24,000 baht is not a bad price when you look upon how much it's going to cost for insurance for the for the older people. And bearing in mind at this price this is for a 50 year old or a 70 year old. Don't quote me on that you've got to ring up the hospital and ask but they give a general price, so I would imagine this is for a general age. So even if you've got heart checkup package every year, that's only 9,000 baht a year. And that's going to tell you if you're going to have any problems with your heart. So have a look at the package, ring the hospital. I'm going to, give, I'm going to put the number up here for those people who are interested. Give the hospital a ring and ask for the packages and see what you can, you can get. And if you ask yourself, then you know what you want. So the next package above that, is the heart and lipid checkup package. So this is the price package, and this is where it is, 11,000 to 62,000. And in this photograph here, it shows you exactly what they do for the various prices. Now again, I'm no expert, and whether 11,900 baht package is gonna be enough for you, or would you go the whole hog for 62,000? I would say not. I would say just go for the most important things, and you can discuss that with other various people, even your own doctor and ask him what tests you should get done for your own peace of mind. So again, that's another cost, 11,900 to 62,000 baht. And there's some other little packages here, ranging from 900 baht to 4,000 baht. And you can have a look at exactly what they give you for the money. So armed with this knowledge and the most common cause of death is heart attack, I would say look after your heart. If you can't afford the insurance, medical insurance that is, then why not pay and get your heart checked. Everything else gives symptoms, a majority of things give symptoms before you, you're feeling sick. So then you can take preventative measures for that also. So as mentioned at the beginning of the video, my insurance costs. Now these are the costs of insurance for me. And there were three plans, both inpatient and outpatient. And in the next slide, you'll see the total cost, whether you wanted inpatient or outpatient. And the three packages are for 700,000 baht, which is the package that I'm on. And that is going to cost me tomorrow 24,885 baht for 700,000 baht. Now, I know some people are going to say, oh, that's not much money. You, you won't get much treatment for that. But I can assure you, it's easier to find nearly 25,000 baht than even 700,000 baht. And I've got a credit card, so I could put another... 100,000 baht to that if I needed to, to do such a thing. And the reason why I chose the cheap package is because I'm a relative fit guy. I don't suffer many illnesses, a bit of rheumatoid arthritis that I've got now, but um, that comes with age. So I think I'm a fairly healthy person. So why do I need three or four million baht's worth of cover? I don't. The 700,000 baht worth of cover in my mind is a sticking plaster. It's enough to get me fixed up so I can get on a plane and fly back to the UK and hopefully get my treatment done there. But that's my thought. Other people might have their own ideas on that. But 700,000 baht is better than nothing at all. Now the next cover up from that was a, th was a million baht. Now that shoots up to 37,460 baht for a 61 year old to 66 year old. And then the 1.5 million baht worth of cover is 46,811. So, is that expensive or is it not? Exp and these are all inpatient, not outpatient also. So, I can afford the 25,000. I'm happy with 700,000 baht's worth of cover. Look at the list here, what's actually included in that cost. I would go and get treated in a public hospital if I have to. A hospital is a hospital, a doctor is a doctor, whether he works in a public hospital or a private hospital. For my mind, the doctor has done his service and he's got his license. He might not be the best doctor working in a public hospital, but he's a doctor when all said and done. So this is my view, my way of thinking on the medical insurance of living here in Thailand. So what do you think? So have you got any suggestions? Please leave your comments down below. And Pacific Cross is the insurance company which I use. So if you need any more information, send me an email down below. So from late, retired and living the dream in Thailand. Till the next video, bye for now.